Now we are going to see how to add a parking space into our system so that our cars have a place to park. So as we remember, while we created the parking lot, we already uh, created 10 parking spaces on that parking lot, 10 physical parking spaces. The next step will be to assign those parking spaces to companies. Okay, so we have three companies on our system. We want to assign the 10, uh, the 10 parking spaces we have into them. So when I press company, I see nothing. So basically, so let's add a space into our company. We're going to do it by pressing assign parking space. So we can see now the different companies, company one, two, and three. So let's say that to company one, we are going to assign three parking spaces. Of course, we can we can choose what name will have, uh, what name the companies, uh, the parking spaces will have. Okay, so we can call them A, we can call them floor one, for example, floor, floor one. And then it will automatically continue to one, two, three. So floor one, uh, we can choose if the the parking will be taken, it will be saved only for employees. It means that we cannot invite visitors to those parking spaces. And we press save changes. And we can see the floor one has one, two, three parking spaces. Next, we're gonna add another three parking spaces to company two. Okay, another three spaces. This time it's floor two. Okay, so floor two, we see this in a lot of underground. A underground uh, a parking lots. This time, the the parking is not reserved to anyone, just for the employee, just for everyone that coming to this uh, uh, to this company. Let's give it a second to update, and we can see it right now. Company one, floor one, one, two, and three. Company two, floor two, one, two, and three. Same thing, and of course, it for come company three. I think it's uh, we already understand it. Save changes and we can see all of the companies right now. Okay, as simple as that. Uh, if you want to add another parking space, of course we need to increase our. Uh, we need to increase. Okay, this company has unlimited parking count. Adding new parking space will cancel it. Of course, the thing is that we already reached our maximum ability to add a parking space because we have only ten and we right now in the amount of ten. So if we want to delete, we can delete it from here. We can delete, of course, we need to choose the parking spaces and delete them. We want to assign new ones. We need to create a bigger parking lot. And of course, for every company, we can see a status of how many parkings are existing, how many are occupied, and how many are available. Or we can see the number for all of them together. Very simple.